Hello everyone and welcome back. Today we're looking at the Raider. The G.I. Joe Raider was first released in the United States in 1989. It included the driver hot seat. The Raider was also available in 1990 and unfortunately, like so many of these other ones here for this year uh, series, it was discontinued in 1991. So uh, we get a nice picture of hot seat version 1. And he came exclusively with the Raider 4-Track Assault Vehicle. Okay, so we do have a few images here, uh, namely some of the cannons and one of the two missiles that it came with. We have some nice box art that was uh, obviously we're here on Yojo. This is uh, courtesy of Steve Campbell. Uh, let's see, he's got, you know, the box depicts... The vehicle I'm really just trying to stay with. Uh, we do see that the front kind of comes off of here. I'm not adding that feature onto this. I'm just trying to keep it as a vehicle itself. So uh, it's an interesting setup that we have. Uh, three sets of cannons here, as well as a, and I'm going to label this as more of an anti-tank cannon below. Uh, so it kind of gives us a little extra uh, operational value here. Uh, we have the, the rear box art and of course then we have our uh, diagram of everything. Our schematics here and then for putting the whole thing together. Now the one thing I like I said before I don't really want to get into is having the extra vehicle. Uh, you're, you're kind of separating things and I know it as a kid, it was wonderful because you added extra vehicles for a set that, you know, essentially it's like getting two sets in one. But as an adult looking at it, trying to get everything to work correctly, you know, let me just keep this a little bit more simple and basic and we're just kind of going from there. So again, for trying to put all of this together, because it, you know, we have two vehicles and trying to mash everything together, so it does make sense here. And we flip around to our our uh, first picture. So, uh, regrettably, we don't have any any listed for variations of this, and unfortunately, like we have on so many other vehicles, we do not have a price for this. I'm going to guess it's probably about $15 to $20 back back then, uh, but not 100% certain, and we're in that ballpark somewhere. All right, so looking at the radar here, um, and I kind of goofed up on something here. I noticed that right away. One of the things I forgot to do, because like I've said before, I, I grabbed something and was like, okay, I think this might be a, a good starting point. Point, and I've changed quite a bit, bit of things here. Um, I don't think we want this at 10 feet. I think we're going to want this at least 30 feet. Um, this might even want to be about 35 feet long. And I'm going to take out the meters because I don't know what that comes out to be in the meters. Um, so we'll just kind of leave it at that. So the Raider at speed or scale, uh, being about 35 feet long, as a crew of two, uh, you know, it did actually have some pegs here, and I didn't, I wasn't thinking about that earlier. So let me throw in there passengers of two, so we can have one on each side. Oops, and then and this, yeah, okay. So we have a, roughly about like a hundred pound cargo capacity thereabouts, you know, here or there. Um, coverage is going to be full. Ground. Um, Altitude, because it is ground-based. Uh, maneuverability, I'm leaving it as a 1D. Um, you know, the, the base vehicle I had it was a lot slower. Now, with this being a Raider, I want this to go a little faster than our standard, like, 35 to 40, which, you know, I think the original vehicle I had was uh, um, about there. So uh, I want it to go faster, so we're going to have it going 50. Uh, body strength of 3D, I think that, that holds pretty good for this, being at speed or scale. Um, a little bit of a lightweight, you know, here we are, right? Fast, maneuverable, a Raider vehicle. Uh, so we have three dual medium laser cannons, 
uh, let's see, these are front turreted, two on the side, one in the front, and they're going to be speeder scale fire control. I'm leaving that at 1D. Uh, trying to manage all of this I think is going to be a little challenging. May not be the easiest, so I'm just kind of leaving it at that. Uh, let's see, we have a damage of 6D for each cannon. We also have the heavy laser cannon, which is the bottom one, which would have been that front vehicle that that would have taken off. Now, I wanted to leave that on there because it really what I'm making this out to be is a, a raider slash tank destroyer. So having a bigger cannon there, it is really low. Uh, so it's not the most feasible cannon, but it's there. Um, you know, I really don't know what to say about that. Because typically you're going to have a, a big cannon sitting about, you know, chest high or whatever. Not sitting down at about either ankle to knee high. Because if you have any extra rocks or anything, it's going to be bouncing off of there. And it's really going to lessen the capability of your cannon. But it's there. So I'm leaving it there. But we're going to put it at walker scale. So now it's a heavier cannon. So it's a heavy laser cannon. Walker scale. Again, it's going to be at a 1D. Um, and then we have two concussion missiles. Now, these are going to be walker scale. Uh, it's only listed for having the two. But being a Raider vehicle, I guess, you know, it does make some sense. Okay, so we're going to have it kind of fold up. We can fire those off. Scoot in. Do as much havoc and damage as it can. And then scoot on out of there. That's my intention with this. So does this work? I think it really does. Uh, our missiles are doing 7D damage. Fire control is at 0D plus 1. Actually, I think we need to up that. Um, we're going to put our missiles at a 3D plus 1. Uh, I'm going to say that they should have some sort of guidance onto them. So that would make that a little bit more uh, challenging for any enemy forces that come up to it. So, you know, trying to get what the vehicle really should be. And like I said, as a Raider vehicle, we want something that can sneak in fast, do a lot of damage, sneak on out, and just see what what is in the wake of it. Um, I don't know if this is really going to replace any other vehicle. I think this is just going to be its own new design meant for fast in, fast out, you know, attacks possibly you know uh, trying to hit a, a heavier um, stronghold whether it's cobra itself or the uh, iron grenadiers the crimson guard uh, whoever but just trying to do that um, as i think you know we're starting to get more of these different factions listed uh, we're getting more vehicles as the years go on. And we are going to get uh, a video where I'm just going to, instead of, instead of doing a separate video for every one of them, because we do have uh, Tiger Patrol, uh, Python Patrol, uh, the Iron Grenadiers, and all of those, I'm going to do one video and we'll just update all of them as the years go on. These are the extra vehicles that have been added onto that force. And, you know, we'll have fun with it. But it's just the whole thing of, you know, here we are. Let's, as things are moving forward, you know, I can almost see this as a kind of replacement in a way for maybe the Mauler. Maybe. Um, if we're doing more fast attack. I think you're going to want to keep the Mauler around because it's just that big heavy tank anyways. But this might be a, a lighter, more maneuverable replacement for that. Something we can drop in, get some attacks done, and then get out. So I'm just looking at it in those regards. So with that, thanks for stopping by. Thanks for visiting. It's always great having you stop by. Hope you have a wonderful day, and we'll see you in the next video.